Starting this thing up. Using my fingers. You can probably just start right here. <laughs> can you skip? Well, no, I mean, oh. we'll start our episode. But, uh, Welcome yeah, to a new series of cooperatives. Yeah, we are just in time for Dark Souls 3. <laughs> <laughs> well, just a, a week late for Dark Souls yeah. 3. We're going to play Bloodborne. There there will likely be some Dark Souls 3 coming sooner or later. My God, has it been a week? Uh, yeah, it was, has. It was, it was, it was last Tuesday it came out. This is We are recording oh. on the 20th. <coughs> uh. <coughs> Sorry, and uh, yeah, it came out last week on the twelfth, so we're eight days late for playing oh, yeah, the wrong yeah. game. Oh yes. Oh yeah, here we go. This weird guy. So yeah, Ben has not played this. Yeah. Have you even seen this part? Uh, yeah, because when you do the character creation, oh yeah, which is the only thing I messed with, because good God, there's a lot to do. Yeah, I just skipped past that the first time I played yeah. this. I think I came up with a name, and that was about it. Yeah, I might do a uh, quick, like, run-through, and that should be it, because I remember where I had all of my presets, if it's not loaded. First. Oh, hey there, Creepy McCreepster. Yeah, he ain't got really no eyes. Yeah, it's like his flesh has been melted over. Nah, that's not weird at all. Yeah, it certainly is not the least weird thing you're going to come across right. in this game. <laughs> uh, and I literally, I have no concept of what I'm in for. Other than I've heard it's infamously difficult. It is, yes. Willem. Yes. I'm pretty sure there's actually another character in this name, game named Willem. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure there is. <laughs> okay, so... I believe Milka Toast is a... Oh, no, never mind. That's just average. Yeah, right. And because then you have waste of skin, which is like Yeah, well that's nothing. also you're also under leveled, so you get more points as you kinda of go up, but oh, like, really? uh you're better off oh, you start at a slightly higher level. Oh. Yeah, like uh only the bottom one I think is different level. Yeah. I think it's slightly different for it. <clears throat> So yes, I I have played Bloodborne and beaten it once. I've played a little bit of a second playthrough of it. Ben has not, so I'm here to sort of um kind of act like a guide, but I don't want to give him too much. Right. The whole point is to, like, enjoy watching him die and get I... used to the game. So I'm just here to kind of give him some basic... A few small things here and there that I felt like when I was playing through the game made, uh, would have been helpful for me to know. <laughs> okay, so the top thing... Actually, I'll enter this first, because you're yeah. you're picking your thing. Is you pretty much want to pick, uh, to build a strength cl uh, class or a skill class. Okay. So you're going to want to pick one of those, and it depends on which weapon you end up getting, but you don't get your weapon until... Uh, a little bit into the game. Okay. Two of them are, uh, there's a lot more strength weapons than there are skill weapons, and I'm not entirely sure what the difference is, because I did a skill build and I never tried a strength build. Oh. But, uh, the one advantage I found, at least for skill building, was I had a lot of, I could get in a lot of attacks. Okay. So, like, I, you know, I could stagger enemies and keep them from attacking me, which could, especially as you get later in the game, was very helpful. But okay. I don't know that necessarily you don't get to do that with strength, so, uh. I'm kind of thinking about going to military veteran that is good in strength and skill? That might be uh, worth it. The only, I don't know, uh, vitality is how much uh, health you have, obviously. Endurance is how many attacks you can do, because you will run out of space to be able to dodge okay. and attack, and at which point you're just kind of, like, running around. Okay. Uh, I see. Okay. But you don't need tons of endurance early on. All right. Military uh, event probably wouldn't be bad. Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to do this real quick. Actually, my preset should be here. Yeah, don't you have some what? Oh, is it because I didn't really continue forward? Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I think you should just be able to make guys. I never tried. This yeah. is pretty much what my guy looked like. I think I gave him long hair. Uh. <laughs> or made him whiter. Uh, yeah. I remember a few of the things I did. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, just so I don't waste, like, your guys' time while I do the other yeah, couple. Well, I could always skip through this. That's true. Yeah, if you want to fast forward the shit, I don't give a shit. Uh, Let's see if you do anything interesting. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, make that deep forehead. Edge bridge. Oh, well, hi. You're about average. You're about average. The thing is, you really never see him. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard, though. Half the time, you just have stuff that obscures your face anyway. That's a bur so just change the color of your eyes to something you'd prefer. In case yeah, you're I mean, that's to about see your good. Eyes. Uh, Looks I very just... sad. 
<laughs> you made a really sad looking guy. Uh, Although I guess this is an appropriate world to make a sad character for. Yeah, she's really uh, dour. And again, I, I don't know what to expect here. It is very, uh... It's kind of like a very, very gothic Victorian. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Uh, kind of set up. Uh... Okay, and then cheat. Now he's smiling, but like his eyes are frowning. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. I'm trying to pretend to be happy. He's got really tiny eyes now too. I know. I need to go back and change that real quick. And that should be all I care about other than hair. That's pretty much all I ever change on characters, it's just the hair. Yeah. He almost looks like Conan for a second. Like, uh... Not the Barbarian, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> skinny, I was gonna say... Uh, you gotta give him some that goofy red hair. I of. think I'm gonna do it! <laughs> and kind of. Uh... Where's, <laughs> where's the hair? Okay. Yeah, I think you gotta go back. D is there, like, a pompadour? That's about the closest I think I'll get. I remember Probably. looking at this last night. Okay, hair color was like red as fuck. Yeah, just turn up. Oh, that's yeah. They got those like you can't even pick a colors. You have to do it like based on a red, yellow, green. It's about like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, god damn it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna run with it. Hey, Conan-like character. He does <laughs> kind of like he Conan. Does. <laughs> <laughs> now, do I do sad Conan and give him the beard? Oh, uh, maybe. Especially if it's a different color. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a completely different color. No, you gotta give him the, the yeah, the that sinister one? mustache. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Check out my mustache. Oh, wait, hold on. What was the hair color? 120, 50, 10. 120, 50, 10. <laughs> I love you it. You know you love it. <laughs> I am Conan, which is why I'm gonna go back. Can I change his name? I... I'm gonna save the favorites real quick before I make that mistake. Yes! Yes, I... Uh, yeah. Man, name is changing. <laughs> Should be looking at him from far away, actually, doesn't it? Like, like going in with a ridiculous mustache. That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Done! Alright, let's get him into this world. I hope he sees this. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. just cruising the internet today. What's this? <laughs> yeah, because it was one to, uh, like earlier. I was making a character look like Willem Dafoe. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna keep running. I'm gonna run with this, and I did not <laughs> expect this to happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should have given him the youth voice though, so uh, it sounds a little higher pitched. I don't know that you ever talk really in this game. Oh really? See, that's what I figured. But usually, when you do pick a voice, I'll oh, shut up. I think it's just for uh, like grunts and stuff. Oh, because yeah, I don't remember moments when you talk. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, ah, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Oh. Come on, Whatever it's happens, it. you yeah. may think it all a mere bad dream. Oh, that wasn't flesh, that was just a bandage. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, obviously, the biggest plot point here is that you really think it all a bad dream. <laughs> they really don't hesitate any time with the edits. Is this real or is this not? <laughs> oh, really? Well, I'm gonna give you a bad dream right there. <laughs> well, fair. My hair head is awfully craned for the way I'm laying. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, hey. You're adorable. Oh, God. <laughs> No, sweet Jesus. He's your friend. <laughs> oh, God. You got a dollar, buddy? <laughs> oh, I just wanted a dollar. I know, like, if he was going to attack me, he would just raise his claws, wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of in a defenseless cinema scene right now. True. So one fireball will kill him, huh? Mario would have a field day. I don't know. Uh. It's not. Uh. I don't... Your head is cranked really weird. Yeah, this doesn't know. seem I didn't like notice a, this last time. This does not seem like a better alternative. Hell, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like genital face right there. I won't say which, but you can guess. I don't think you'd have to guess. 
Ugh. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. Those guys are your friends, by the way. Are they? <laughs> Believe it or not, those little dudes. <laughs> those little dudes are your friends. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, and you can play on this so you can see people. That's right. We're, I did not play this online when I played it. <laughs> yeah. so, Conan is ready. Conando. Conando. Inspect. Handwritten skull. See, pale blood to transcend the. Uh, this is that's about how you're gonna get a uh, storyline. Okay. That's that's the this is the peak of storyline you're gonna get for like the next half hour. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess I'm cool with that. I don't mind it when a game just like lets me figure it out. It it is very much the kind of game. A lot of it's in in descriptions for uh, items. This are should they be wearing uh, top hats. They are. I don't know how you already have them wearing top hats. That's weird. Usually they you have to get something. An item. Is that another player? Uh, return. Yeah, that's no, that's gonna be a because it has a uh, appraisals there as how many people. Uh, uh, but like, you can only choose so many words to use. Okay. Um, yeah, if it has appraisals, I think that means it's a player. Because when I played this, I was not online. Okay. I feel like this is gonna be something. Uh, they're not wearing top hats. No, I think that maybe they're wearing top hats because they're for a player. Attack. Okay. Yes, this is your tutorial. <laughs> Doesn't help when you don't have a weapon yet. Well, it's just funny because R three, so joystick. Yeah, put uh, tap in the joystick. It just it's just funny because it makes me think of Conan doing these weird karate chops. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. I'll need to make a character for when I do Dark Souls or yeah, Dark Souls three. I'll need to make Andy Richter. <laughs> can you like put Pudge on somebody? I don't know if you can. I never tried <gasps> that. Uh, it's your friend. Is he? Oh! Yeah, you can see how someone dies. Oh, that's kinda cool. I think that's what red means, is they died. Uh... Hey, buddy. Ow! Motherfucker! I'm actually doing damage with my karate chops? Yeah, kinda do. <laughs> Let me guess, I'm not supposed to live through this. Uh, no. But <laughs> you are doing a pretty damn good job of getting there. <laughs> Can I dodge? Yeah, it's I the, uh, the, I think it's the right control step. Or maybe it's circle. <laughs> oh god, he's yeah, there you go. after me. You, you, if you lock on to him, you'll kind of can dodge around him. <laughs> you, uh, you are doing impressively well here. For this being your first guy. Oh, that was it, huh? Yeah. Game over. All right. <laughs> well, at least we got the first death out of the way. The first death is actually one you have to die. Oh. Yeah, you're not you're not supposed to kill that enemy. The first okay. Time I'm guessing that's why his health didn't go down any lower. <laughs> yeah, he was going down very low because you don't have a weapon yet. Okay. But uh, yeah, that's why I was like, it was really impressive that you were actually not very far from killing him. It's totally possible. I've seen playthroughs where people do that, but, uh... Oh. Yeah, yeah I mean, for a guy who's never played a game like this... The intention is that you're supposed to get killed by him, because, uh, since you're here... Yeah. <laughs> this is sort of your, like, uh... Haven? Yeah, home base kind of haven area. You'll end up leveling up here and buying stuff here. There's, like, shops and stuff. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the closest I've ever played to, like, a really difficult, like, kind of a combat game like this was Ninja Gaiden. Uh, and I'm, I'm not, like, the ones that were released for Xbox. I don't know, I've never played those, but, uh... uh... The first one's really difficult and fun. The second one just sucks. When you see, this is, uh, this is the shop, I believe. Okay, and blood you Echoes. Blood Echoes, juice. which you don't have. You, blood Echoes you get from killing guys. Okay. I don't know I, if I'm just looking see, at this just... Yeah, I don't think you're really gonna see anything other than... Yeah. Uh, you can see some equipment that you can buy later, okay. but I So, think Blood Echoes even, is my money. Pretty much, it's like your experience slash money. Because, oh. like, you'll also use those to level up. Uh, I'm gonna say if I did view specter, uh, L3 switch action. Oh, that's convenient. What? what? It's kind of weird. Apparently there's somebody just sitting here. All Unless right. someone got... How did someone get killed there? Oh, maybe someone invaded their, uh, location. Because, like, you can go to other people's games and kill them. Oh. I don't know how that works, because I only played it offline. Okay, so I'm guessing... Yeah, okay. So if, if a tombstone comes up, somebody has died. I guess so. Yes, okay. that must be what it is. If this happens... These are your weapons. Offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are will of the right hand. And so this is your main weapon. 
You okay. can pick the uh, cleaver, the axe, the cane. I picked the cane the first time through. It is the skill weapon. Okay. The other two are uh, strength weapons. <laughs> I don't necessarily know what the advantage to them are, is. Um, like, I kind of want the axe. It's totally up to you. I really enjoyed the cane, but I only pretty much used it if they, like... And the trick... They go into two forms. Like, they have, like, a sh- like kind of a shorter range, I think slightly higher power attack, or then a longer range kind of reach oh, okay. form. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to do the axe. Um, and leave one advantage. Just there's a lot of strength items. So if you find you're not enjoying the axe, you can switch over to something else, and it's not, like, a big deal. There's pretty much only one skill fuck. weapon. Hunter pistol and blunderbuss. <coughs> I'm guessing one that just has like a longer range. Yeah, uh, the pistol is a little bit more. Yeah, it has, does a little bit more damage and is a little bit more focused. Um, oh, this is like a shotgun. Yeah, it's like a shotgun. I'm not entirely sure the big difference between the two, but the one big this this is where the one big mechanic comes in um, for this game. Because what you want to do is you want to wait for enemies to like just barely start attacking you as they like get to like that moment just before their their attacks gonna start. You shoot them, and it stuns them, and you can get big hits in. Oh. I use the pistol because it's a little bit more... I don't know. I think it's a little more accurate. I'm not entirely sure. Again, this is Yeah, that's kind of like... They really, you really can't make a mistake because you're so early in the game, and if we find that it's like, oh, yeah, you need to make sure you're leveling up this kind of thing to make it... I'm going to go with the pistol. I like the thought of maybe accuracy. But uh, I think you need to equip those then. Oh, yeah. And then they'll give you the notebook that you can, you can leave messages for other people. Ah, too. okay. So uh, I've never used that. Men- what? I think it's option maybe. Oh, okay. Um, inventory. Okay. Um, right hand weapons. You. I. I think you need to go into a. There's a should be an equip uh, equipment like menu. The next one over, I think. Oh. Yeah. Uh. System. Arms? Yeah, arms, there you go. Got it. Because then you can switch through these as you prefer. Okay. So I can have two right-hand weapons yeah. and two left-hand weapons. Well, because later you'll get, like, the one important thing is, like, you can get a torch later that's ah, particularly helpful. Got it. All right. Cool. And... That's how you get your big weapon. How do you... Oh, okay, it's... Oh, yeah, I think it's weird. it's separated by shoulders. Yeah, well, this one, if I do right trigger... Oh, I do that. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Interesting. Open door. Club, what? Yeah, you can't... I don't think you can get in there just yet. I think you need to find... Uh, okay. I just figured with all the weapon gathering that this would have been the way to go. <laughs> Alright. Um... Tombstones, These tombstones. tombstones here, I think are... I've never done any of them, but you use them to get into, like, sort of challenge dungeons. Oh, uh, okay. Because, like, once you get to the end of the game, then you can start running through really hard, you know, hard dungeons. Sure. Kind of randomized yeah, and get you just, loot. So if you really like to torture yourself, essentially. <laughs> well, people, yeah, really do. <laughs> hey, I went through... I played, I played... I beat all the bosses, except... I didn't beat the, uh... If you play the game a certain way and go for the best ending, you get an extra end boss. Which maybe we'll try and do. I'll try and lead you down. Yeah, the I mean, I'm I'm totally open. Uh, uh, but to I did the that. one just where I fought, because you can like the end is uh, you can fight zero bosses, one boss, or two boss, and I fought one. <laughs> Transforming attack. So, you said, oh, yeah. See, that's, that's what you were saying. Yeah. Okay, see, got now it. you get like kind of a bigger. It has a little bit more range to it. and I think it's a little more powerful. Interesting. Strong attacks. Charge attack. Yeah, and you want to. Those are really important too because you can sneak up on guys if they haven't seen you and you do a charge oh, attack awesome. behind them. You will uh, Hang really from oh. devastate them. There we go. Yeah, stagger them. Um, shooting a firearm mm-hmm. will interrupt and stagger them when properly timed to their attack. So like right before they attack, yep. boom, stunned. That is that's a, a very there's big a lot of strategy game. coming into this already. It is, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how this game builds. It builds a lot of complexity early on. Visceral attack when next to attack. Oh, yeah, if yeah, if you happen to... Because if you tap it really quick at the right time, you'll get sort of the same thing as a charged attack. Okay. Only it's really quick. and But you have to get the gun and interrupt first. Yeah, I guess I was just thinking this is kind of like a, a button masher. Um, and it does not seem like that'll serve oh, you well. No. <laughs> not, not particularly. Unless the button you're mashing is roll away. <laughs> Guarantee you that'll happen. What was there? So- oh! Yes, this is the other thing that's really important. Uh, you'll notice that, like, you don't... Like, as your health goes down, the little white yeah. little meter there at the end will go down first, and you'll have, like, a little bit of red. 
If you get them back, you can get your health back, which is very, very helpful. Because you can't, like, block. You can't shield stuff in this. Okay. Which was is, I guess, a huge thing of Dark Souls, which I haven't played yet. Yeah. Uh, from everything I've seen, there's just and then, uh, huge emphasis on yeah, the shield. Yeah, uh, if you go qu back down the stairs just a bit to the right there... Oh, the bath is? No, no, no. To your right, there's a person. Oh, God! <laughs> Have they been here long? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a doll. Yeah, uh, it... once <laughs> you get some more, uh, a different kind of, I can't remember what it's called, a different kind of, uh, it's not blood souls, but currency, you will be able to level up, and she will help you level up. Oh. But, uh, to get back to the level, uh, go to that tombstone right there. This one? Yeah. Oh, with the people climbing it? The Yarnham tombstone. Yarnham. And that's all the only place you can go so far, because that's all you can go Okay. So I take it this will be, like, war points for me? Yep. <coughs> this will be your save <coughs> points. Okay. Um, where you do your shit. It really shifts weight. Oh, yeah, and you'll find tons of items. Don't worry about these, just do it. <laughs> yeah, I figure, like, <laughs> that'd be pretty shitty if they just threw all this, uh, alchemical stuff at you right from the get-go. But, yeah, now you're back here. Okay, is that, like, is that signify a checkpoint? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Those little lanterns are, yeah, your little checkpoint. And this is the room I was in before I went to fight Wolfman. Yep. Alright, I'm back with, with an axe, motherfucker. Oh, that is not... <laughs> he just kind of jumped at whatever. A lot, a lot easier when you got a weapon. Yeah. This guy is. Oh, wow. Uh, blood vials, too. That's uh, your health. What heals you. Oh, um, okay. It should... I can't remember what point you need to get to, but usually when it respawns, I think it gives you five by default. Okay. Eventually. Um, and you can carry up to 20. But uh, once you go down to, like, you know, once you go down to five, it doesn't give you back anymore. So it's uh, something you have to be very wise with. And okay. you will certainly be going through, like, 20 on every boss battle. <laughs> sure. Okay, restore HP with triangle. That's convenient, actually. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Hee <laughs> hee. That's somebody else telling you stuff. I don't know what they can't wait for. Yeah. I guess they can't wait for us to get going on this Let's Play! Open door. I don't know if I care about those notes. Especially now with that way that door opened. Alright. And now you are in... The city proper. I don't, uh... Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's item, by the way. That little glowing green, uh, to your, back to your right. That's oh. an item. That's what, oh! That's what an item will look like. Quick oh, Which you'll okay. also need, because the game will let you run out of bullets. <laughs> remember focus I think it respawns you with ten bullets. I can't quite remember. But uh, I got to a certain point where I had just like 900 bullets. I very rarely used them. I, I sorry. I I just play a lot of games that when you open a door really slowly, you get used to it after a while, and then the developers decide to throw a buck and scare you. Oh, I can tell that. I don't remember there being really anything at doors in this one. Uh, it's down here first. This looks like a dead end. I'm not gonna like loot hunt the whole place, but. You I will do kind like of want to. to. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and point you back in directions. Like, okay, like, totally if you ever them. watch, like, Birdus play Fallout or any, like, RPG, he'll search everything, even when they're, like, super high level and it's kind of useless. Um, I usually, well, I, you know, I usually draw them somewhere, but... Friendly? Friendly. Yeah, no, there's, there's... <laughs> you will know when they're friendly, because they will not... Make sure you're uh, locking on there. That uh, is, yeah. You're gonna need to be doing that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So should I use a blood vial now, or my health restore by itself? No, your health does not restore by itself at all. Until you, when if you get to a checkpoint, it'll restore it. Okay. Can I destroy? It? Yeah, kind of. There's yeah. a bunch of stuff that can be destroyed. <laughs> Breaks a dead body. Okay. I kind I kind of grow tired of you. You got that guy more than Oh. I don't know what those numbers mean under there. I got so far not. God damn it. Uh, that's just how many how much damage you did in hit points. Uh <laughs> Oh yeah, they got those they got some great ragdoll effects in this. Yeah. <laughs> uh Don't forget that. Huh? 
Oh yeah, I'll grab the iron first. Man, Ooh, two blood vials. Operate the Although those don't respawn. But but you can you often get flood vials off of dead enemies. Oh god, that freaks me out. What? Oh. That felt like I like how covered in blood you are, Conan. Am I real oh wow well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't call it bloodborne for nothing. <laughs> Like, you've killed, like, two guys, and you're soaked. It's kind of, uh, reminds me of, like, Dragon Age 1. It, uh, yeah, I remember, yeah. Because, uh, I feel like, uh, you just walk the in. other... What? You can just, like, walk into, uh, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm talking about Dragon Age. You okay. just walk into, like, yeah, random conversations, you'd be covered in blood. Yeah, just, like, head to toe. Um... But this actually looks like slick blood. Yeah. Wet and slick Those and gross. Those <laughs> Yeah, guys, I played this on a slightly smaller TV. Graphics on this game are really nice. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, at first, I was like, "Yeah, the character models," and then when I like kind of sat up close and started like crafting around, I'm like, oh, they actually don't look that bad." Okay, I, that device did something, and I might have told it. Me it this. dropped a ladder. Like it was right by you. I'm sorry. Was it? Yeah. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, yeah, it dropped a ladder right beside you. Uh, for a really great look, turn the camera to your uh, to like your side anywhere. Oh. You get a really nice look at the city. And my mustache that is covered in blood. Look at that. Yeah, that's gross. My bloody mustache. <laughs> wow. Yeah, talk about Victorian Gothic. Yeah, but uh, very, very nice. What the fuck <laughs> is that? Uh, oh, I don't want to be on ladders anymore. <laughs> there's your, uh, there's your first lamp. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> And you can you can transport between uh, yeah obviously as you can tell you can transport okay. between places and stuff. Uh, like that. For the time being, I will not go back. So is that over for the set? Well, at least they're polite and they let you know. Yeah. Uh. No, not just yet. Uh, <laughs> view notes. No, oh, I don't care. Remember doll. The doll back in your. Give us a guy. Wow, I am just straight up murdering these guys. Yeah, yeah, they're early on there, not terribly, terribly difficult. But yeah, that seems like a false sense of security from what I hear. With good about reason. This You're game. only running into one or two guys at a time, at least right now. Oh, he has a shield. Doesn't help him. Much. Yeah, I guess not. Because you can get a shield too. It, does, it helps you about the same. <laughs> okay, good to know. Uh, <laughs> I was kind of waiting for that one. <laughs> Shit! I was like, Ben's getting all confident. He's going to run right into this giant mob of guys that are down here. Oh, God! <laughs> uh, and so that you know, too, uh, when you get killed, you lose all of your blood echoes that you're carrying. They drop onto that location, so then to I get them recover. back, you have to go and recover them. But if you die again before you get back to them, they all go away. Um... Did I have any? You had like 300 something. Uh huh. Um. I'm not. No. So, yeah. do you wanna. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I think that's as uh, far as Ben's gonna get for this episode. Yeah, let's. Uh, that was a little nerve wracking, so I'm gonna collect my wits and then I'll come back at it again. We'll come back with Conando. Yeah, what? Well, <laughs> it's just fucking. I love it. Alright. Uh, next time on Cooperatives, guys. Yeah.